Hi, I've got this very frequently used Logitech MX Master 2S mouse, where all of a sudden the mouse cursor just stopped working. Funny thing was though that the clicking still indeed did work. And after reading up a little bit about this, apparently this is a fairly known issue with the MX Master 2S and also some of the other MX mouses as well. I can really only refer to the 2S here since it's the one I've got, but perhaps this video can at least give you some ideas if you got one of the other versions instead. Also, this issue seems to sometimes also affect button clicks not working as well. So if you got that problem, the procedure in the video might also be worth looking into for that matter. Right, in my case, the culprit here was that the button under the thumb rest had gotten basically stuck in a pushed in state, preventing normal operation of the rest of the device. A known fix here and what actually did the trick for me is to slightly loosen the screws holding this button in place, whereupon it then kicks back to life again. Doing this though, in involves opening your mouse app and will probably void your warranty if you've got any left. So if you do have warranty left, just use that and have the mouse completely replaced instead. If you don't though, here we go. First, to get into the mouse, we need a normal Phillips head screwdriver, a Torx T5-1, as well as something flat to pry up and away the gliding strips from the bottom of the mouse to access the screws. I'm using a guitar pick here, as well as something warm to dissolve the glue holding these strips in place a little bit. In this case, I'm going to use the inside of a hot water bottle here, but one of those heat in the microwave bead thing is probably does the trick just as well. Or of course, something more professional if you got that lying around. Right, first, let's get those strips off to reveal all of the screws. Here I'm just working through one side at a time, letting the glide strip rest on the hot water bottle for about a minute and then they are actually fairly easy to remove. Not that I got it perfectly done though, but still. And now all of the screws are exposed. The two ones closest to the front are the Torx T5 ones and the ones hidden under the strips are the normal Phillips screws. After all screws are out, we can then carefully start to pry the top cover from the bottom one. This can be a little tricky, but just be patient and move along the line separating the two sides with something soft and pointy to get both sides to unclip from each other. After this, when lifting both sides apart, be extremely careful to not break the relatively short flat wire connecting both halves to each other. After some positioning, we can now see the two small Phillips screws under the thumb button that we are now going to slightly loosen. like so. You should here be able to again feel the click from the thumb button if you try and click it. In my case I also had to slightly wiggle the green circuit board underneath the button to make it snap back into place again. And after this, it's basically just a matter of reassembling the whole thing again. A good thing here is to just snap the two pieces back together and make sure the mouse is working before putting all the screws back in. Otherwise, the screws underneath the thumb button might have to be adjusted some more. All right, fingers crossed this worked for you as well. Please though share any thoughts or questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to help with what I can. Thank you for watching. Bye.